For me, makeup is a huge part of my self-expression. I love playing with different shapes and colors and trying to incorporate that into my daily look, which is something that I really want to impart on an audience, like the importance of using makeup in this sort of positive and constructive way as a way to preserve authenticity and as an exercise in creativity. I would say that is my makeup philosophy. Today I'm gonna be doing a really like chill, glowy skin look. Another glitter thing, but like different, you know? Very few products, that's kind of the goal. And no brushes. So let's just start doing the thing. Let me just evaluate what I have in front of me. Just, my mind just went a little bit blank. Um, I think today the first thing that I'm gonna do, hey, eyebrows. Because I'm only using like glitter and a little bit of eyeliner for this look, another glitter eyeliner look for me. I'm not gonna prime my eyes, but the first thing I'm gonna use is this Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil. It's in the shade, I think, soft black. Just use a light hand, keep it pretty light. Yeah, just, I mean, I feel like everybody has a bad brow and you just kind of have to make it work with your other brow. And honestly, I don't think it ever gets that even anyways. We just do our best. The reason why I'm going a little bit more natural with my brows is because like the eyes aren't super dramatic and I'm not doing a really strong lip either. I'm just kind of toning it down to match the other components of my makeup look. I'm just gonna close this and then use the spoolie end. I really like the spoolie because it's soft and fluffy. It blends the pencil, that is, really, really lightly and makes it very diffused. I feel like this kind of look is good for really any occasion you want to spice it up for, you know? Like a, a day date or just hanging out with your friends, going to a museum. I love going to museums. This is the Hourglass Brow Gel. I went to the Museum of Science in Boston for the butterfly exhibit. It was kind of just a thing for myself to de-stress and relax. And this kind of makeup is like the makeup I do for myself too. Just something fun and cute and easy that I don't have to think too hard about. The next thing that I'm going to do is put on some of this plum eyeliner. It's from Thrive Cosmetics and it's in the shade Juliana. I think it's just easier to not mess up when you use a neutral color liner as opposed to black. And I'm just gonna wing it out gently. I'm kind of making this wing pretty big because it's the main part of my eye look. I like to use my nail to just kind of like flick it out. I'm just gonna make this a little thicker, trying to match my other eye into my upper waterline again. I'm just gonna try not to look at it because it freaks me out to see it. I think that looks pretty solid. I'm gonna do some glitter. This is my customized ColourPop palette. I think I'm gonna use this one. It's called Hungry Ghost. It's like a really pretty peachy teal glitter. It's a really fun glitter. I'll just take some on my finger. This is kind of a lot actually, but I'll just kind of disperse it with my other finger. Take it up even into my crease because I want it to be visible while my eyes are open. So I'm not trying to be super neat with it. And then just spread it out. I really like using glitter without having like any eyeshadow base underneath. I think it looks pretty cool. I do like these like kind of medium sized glitters that you can still see. I think it just looks really cool on your eyelids. And I put it in the inner corner too. It's highlighter, so I feel like that's a really cool way to use glitter. Now I'm gonna put some concealer on. This is the NARS um, Creamy Concealer in Custard. And I'm just gonna throw that underneath my eyes and around my nose. I'm using concealer after I do my eyes for this look because the glitter fallout. So, so because I'm putting it on after, I can like kind of cover up any glitter that got all over my face. And I'm just gonna put this on everywhere that I normally put concealer on. Cool. The inner part of my eye a little bit. I don't care if it gets everywhere. I kind of like having glitter a little bit more chaotically on my face sometimes. Let's do some eyelashes. Adds a little more definition to the eye. And this is, it's an Essence Mascara. It's the False Lash Effect one. It's waterproof. I am obsessed with this mascara. I highly recommend this if you have like very short, straight eyelashes. And I'm just gonna put this on my top lashes and my bottom lashes. So I really want my skin to be, my skin and my lips to be like very glowy and fresh. So one of my favorite ways to remove glitter is to use scotch tape. It's just like a great way to make sure that you don't like scrape it off of your skin and scratch yourself accidentally. Super easy, time to do my face. So I'm gonna use this Thrive Cosmetic. It's in the shade Maggie. It's just this like really nice pink flush of color. I'm just gonna dab some of that onto my cheeks. 
and it has a little brush on the back of it. I like to use it to initially like blend it out and then I'll use my fingers or my beauty blender to do the rest. I really like this color. It kind of adds a really healthy flush of pink to your cheeks. I'll put a little bit on my nose too. Let me just close this bad boy up and then I'll just use my beauty blender to just blend it out a little bit more using the butt. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of a pink glow to my skin. This is the Champagne Rosé Luminizer from RMS. I like it a lot. And I'm gonna just tap this onto my cheek and add a lot of a nice glow all over my face. And the last part of this look is gonna be the lip. And I'm gonna use this Chantecaille Lip Chic in the shade Sorry Rose. And it's really nice and glossy, which I love with this eye look and with this cheek. I'm just gonna lightly put this on my lips. Maybe just tap it in with my finger. And that's the look. If you do recreate this look, send me some photos of it. I love to see it. I love to see when people recreate my looks. And I think this is one that plenty of people can try out since it's so easy. Thanks for watching. <laughs> cool.